Hey guys, welcome back. We're talking with Ken J. And if you read the title, this is my take of what we've been seeing on YouTube with Chris Sells, Queen Naja, Clarence, and Leslie. So I just wanted to put my little two cents in or whatever and give y'all a little bit of what talking with Ken J feels and what she sees when reading these reactions and seeing these reactions. So y'all stay tuned so we can touch on this topic. Like y'all didn't think that I could bump like this. Said I told y'all I was gonna bump like this. Okay, so I don't have to really give like this whole background of what's going on because we're all watching. We all see it. Now, me personally, I am a 100% Queen Naja fan. Um, not just to her music, but just to her uh, as a as a personality or whatever. Her as a person and what, of course, what we are privy to and see on YouTube. Um, one thing that I just want to mention that the one thing that I want to touch on is the things that get ignored when we're watching these videos and we're seeing these reactions or whatever from both sides with Clarence, with Chris, Queen, all that or whatever. Me, I feel as though Queen should not have had to make a video to defend herself because Leslie sounds like a broken woman. That is it, period, point blank. Um, when you're in relationships with people and we all have to realize this and I think one of my one of my favorite R&B artists is K. Michelle said this she has a song called For My Cinderella's and in this song she's it's like an old, old, song, old song but in this song she speaks about how sometimes when we're in relationships we're raising a man for another woman or whatever how a man is with us in a relationship isn't how he might be with the next woman and or whatever. And trust me, I understand that no woman wants to see the man that she went through everything with be everything she wanted him to be with the next chick. No woman wants to see that. But this is the reality. This is life. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that we go through. These are the things that we see. And it's just how things happen. We don't agree with it, but we have to pick ourselves up and keep it moving. When I first seen some of the reactions for Leslie or whatever, I just started shaking my head because I feel as though this is what the world wanted. I don't know how we get this mindset or this mind frame of, oh, let's uh, let's protect our woman and all this. But as soon as a woman gets a man, we automatically, it's like, I feel like the world has been waiting for Clarence to F up or to cheat or for it to come out that he just after her money. It's like nobody wants to accept the fact, I'm not going to say nobody. Some people don't want to accept the fact that he could genuinely just love her for who she is. She genuinely loves him for who he is or whatever. We don't know the ins and outs or whatever. We only know what's displayed and what's shown in front of us and the consistency of the behavior that we see. When Leslie first came out, and this is one of my confusions. When she first came out and she made her videos and she talked about all the girls or whatever that, you know, Clarence did stuff with and mentioned Queen name. The thing that bothered me the most is that of all the girls, you only want to go after Queen. If he cheated on all these girls with you, why you went out? Why why would you go after Queen? Because she has a platform. Okay? She has the fame. She has the fans. She has the outlet. She has everything that you don't right now. And going after her will put a target on her and get people to look at you because right now you want attention. This is what I see. I'm just giving y'all talking with Ken J version. You're hi, it's me. I'm Leslie and I want attention. What I feel is because for five years she was with Clarence and they did this back and forth thing or whatever, going back and forth, dealing with each other, breaking up, going back and forth, breaking up, da 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 da. I feel as though she thought that she was that chick. That it's a lot of us females who feel like we'll be that chick to a man that no matter who he with or whatever, he'll always find his way back to us. Even us with, with, with men, no matter who we went, it's always that one who we feel like we'll always have a connection to. Leslie thought that she would for always and forever be that chick until Queen came and gave him a different vibe. Gave him a different energy. Gave him something he did not have with her. Gave her a different level of vulnerability where he was able to break out of his shell or whatever to be a better man for another woman and let me tell you something when you get with a person and you see a better you while being with that person them other motherfuckers could never get to experience the new you because you're not who they're used to anymore and you realize that and i think that with leslie she contradicts herself a little bit or whatever and i'm i i understand her perspective from being a broken woman in the past and understanding or whatever what that looks like from that side but now that i'm on the other side of being no longer broken being healed getting my shit together recognizing my faults and loving the person i look at in the mirror now i can see it from this end and realize that's just a broken baby that girl is broken her heart hurt her heart hurt. She, the man who she thought that was she was gonna be happy with or go back and forth with or whatever, done ceased 
cut her off completely from the dick, from the communication, from everything. And understand this, as we are grown folk, you know, when a man say he's single, he can still be dealing with other girls, but he can be probably having sex with his ex because that's familiarity. That's no matter who he used to. That's something he know. He may not want to slide up in nobody else or whatever, so he want to go back and forth. Well, I'm not saying that is right because we know that as women, even when even though we, we're not in relationships, we're in relation, we still have that connection. So some women, that still means your minds. That still means I have access to because you're giving me access to you. And that was the back and forth of toxicity of that they've experienced with each other. So in Leslie's mind, that's what she thought. And I get that aspect because I've been there and done that. And I had to realize, okay, yeah, this man is walking around acting single, saying he's single. But yeah, he's still coming over here to me at night. We still communicate. We still doing this. But in his eyes, he's still a single man. We get what's allowed. We take what what what, what is given. That's part of her brokenness. But the thing that um, bothered me is that she only went after Queen. She only attacked. Well, I don't, don't want to say attack. Well, she only went after Queen or whatever and said what she said. And she brought up stupid ass receipts. Like, let me tell y'all something. If you're going to bring receipts, bitch, make sure you bring receipts that make sense. In my opinion, her receipts only confirmed what Clarence has already said to us. Her receipts only confirm what Queen has already shown us. So to me, I was like, when I was looking, I was like, bitch, is that it? Like, those are not real receipts, ho. You gave me invoices. You didn't give me receipts, bitch. So that's just how I see it. I just think she's a broken woman. And I just hope whatever it is, whatever she's looking for, whatever it is that she thought that she was going to get a gain from this or whatever feeling that she wanted to get feel or whatever it is, I hope she got it. Because in my eyes... You didn't break up or you didn't break nothing. You actually strengthened something that was already strong. You 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 helped them understand why their bond is their bond and their relationship is their relationship. And that no outside forces can come fuck up what they got going on because they're solid. And when you're built on the right foundation, that's the difference. When your foundation is solid and it's built on the right shit, can't no force come and fuck that up because baby, y'all are good. Y'all are good. If the foundation was really how she claimed it to be, that old queen took him from her, cheating and all this stuff, then she would have she would it, it would have left how she got. But that ain't the case. So that's one thing with her that I just wanted to mention. That I just feel like that baby girl is just broken. And she needed this to vent to get some of this shit out. And I hope or whatever I, I'm not against or for her. I'm not um I'm hoping that she get whatever it is that she need. Whatever she thought that she was going to get from letting this out. Because this is three years later. Now all of a sudden you got something to say. You want to do a bug? Do a, like, come on, mama. Get your shit together. So, whatever it is that she wanted to get from this, I hope baby girl get it. Next. Chris Sales. I've already not a fan of his. Never been a fan of his. Or oh, whatever. Um, The thing that bothered me is... After watching other reaction videos and seeing his videos, not once when 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 Clarence or, or Queen mentioned, and she very mentioned she definitely mentioned it in very colorful words of what she went through when she went home with Chris or whatever. But in her new album, it's understood she has a song. I, I what is it called? I got too much to say. The lyrics to that song, baby, listen. Listen to me. Whatever it was that she went through, Baby Girl poured it out in that song and the lyrics and stuff that she that she wrote. The fact that even when Chris and um not Chris, when Clarence and Queen mentioned the abuse, anytime Chris did a reaction, he he never reacted to it. And that is a very harsh allegation. But as we know, well, to understand a person's future behavior, we have to see their past behavior. And according to how he has been maneuvering through social media what we hear through social media t pages and all that stuff he didn't just put his hands on queen he put his hands on um old girl from my wife and kids he put his hands on the other girl savvy savvy whatever her name is different charges and all this this has been this man's pattern this is his behavior and i feel as though that he never wanted to touch on it or mention it only because 
he has no foot to stand on when it comes to that because then he will have to take accountability and accountability is a harsh ass reality and sometimes people don't want to take accountability because coming with accountability comes a level of responsibility and in order for him to speak on it he has to own it and to own something like that he don't want to face it so therefore he will always be where he's at and never accomplish move forward or do nothing until he faces his harsh reality that boy got some healing to do some fixing to do because he has a son named CJ. He has another little boy. And then he got a girl that's pregnant with a little girl on the way. You around him making broken homes. Because you's a broken man. Three different homes. Three different women. And you're, break, and, and you're broken yourself. And the only way that you can find some type of healing is through your dick. I don't, I don't know what it is when it comes down to our black men about getting help, about actually seeking help to be better. Because let me tell you something. From a person who is a, a strong believer and a recipient, a recipient of seeking therapy, that other side, until you reach it, you will never know what new heights God will have for you. When you heal from your brokenness and just seeing his reactions and seeing how he is, this is entertainment to this boy. He don't really care about nothing. He ain't really trying to, like, he this, this is entertainment for him. This right here is getting him a bag. This is getting him more views or whatever. Because unless he mentions a queen name or something or whatever, it, from the time they broke it up until now, he has to constantly mention her or something about her or whatever. And at first, I didn't want Clarence to react. I was like, nope, you're stupid to his level. That's what he wants. But I was kind of glad because for people to say Clarence should never mention the abuse, that boy is was there and part of her healing process. That girl came to him broken. He's mentioned several times that when he would reach above her something, she would flinch or move or whatever. Do you do you know how broken that is? To have to come and deal with that level of baggage that that girl is carrying? And not only does she have to carry it, but he's helping her carry it. Helping her get through that. And you're saying he don't have to mention it? You don't know what else he's witnessed from her trauma from dealing with this boy. And I'm not saying Queen is perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying she's perfect because she has some probably ways about her too that could be considered toxic when she was with him or whatever. But the way that he broke her down and seeing her level of confidence and how she's building herself back up and liking herself, that is something beautiful. And from woman to woman, I got to congratulate her for that. I got to say, because to come from something like that and to build yourself back up, you know how many women stay in that bitterness, stay in that brokenness, stay not being healed, stay not getting help, stay not trying to get themselves right and then raising children on that hurt, raising children on that brokenness, and now they have broken ass. Like, y'all don't understand the level of toxicness that it, that it can be when you're raising somebody in that cycle. So the fact that she was able to remove herself from it, get better, Find somebody, God bless her with somebody to love her through it with her son or whatever and create a bound. And then you have the audacity to have these two exes come and bash, talk and do all this. No, that's just so wrong. So I just feel like I think it's real effed up that Chris will not talk about the abuse. And you're going to react to it. React to the whole thing. Don't, don't, don't just give us parts to you, bruh. You the goat, as he say it. Tell us everything. He refused in all of his reaction. He never responded. Never responded. Never answered a question or nothing when it came down to the allegations of the abuse. And um, I feel as though he just don't want to face it. That's just my opinion. It just pure, it just came off like as pure entertainment. And I know y'all gonna see a lot of reaction videos to a lot of us. I rarely talk about celebrities, but the thing on that that got me was seeing a broken woman and seeing a healed woman. And if y'all don't know what that looked like, y'all y'all won't understand what what we watching. Because Queen is her healed self now. She's her healed self compared to how broken she was, how ashamed of herself she was, feeling stupid, not liking herself because of the naysayers and all this stuff. And then you have this woman, Leslie, who was still in that same broken place. She is where Queen was, and she don't even recognize that. But it, but but instead of congratulating or participating in, in that flow, she using her little bit of platform or subscribers or whatever to get views or whatever to talk about a relationship that's been passed on three years ago. Like I just I, I just don't agree with that. I just I just don't. So whatever baby girl Leslie is trying to get from it, I hope she get her healing from that. Or whatever. And then it, it this didn't show y'all anything to me. It just showed what a bond Clarence and Queen have. Yes. It may 
it may show something different to people who ain't never been healed, who ain't never, who ain't never experienced some stuff before or whatever. And for you young people, you lay in crown, that's what I say. Or whatever. It could be like just pure entertainment for y'all. People think they're doing it for clout or they all doing this just to get a bag. Could be. Either way, we watch it. Either way, we, we comment it. Either way, we like it. And either way, we subscribe it. So this was just my take on that situation or whatever. Any woman that's in an abusive relationship or whatever, saying get out ain't, ain't words. Ain't words. I hope you find a way to seek help, not just for yourself, but for your situation and for you to get better. For any broken woman, any unhealed woman, any unhealed man that's in relations right now, understand that you can never fully explore and understand happiness until you heal yourself, until you find yourself, until you fix what's broken so that people can understand and see the better side of you and not the bitter side of you. So, if you came this far into the video, y'all, please like, comment, subscribe. Put in the comments below if you've been watching the reaction videos. Tell me your take on it. What is it that you see or whatever? What is it that you agree with and all that? Um, Y'all, please leave a comment below of any other topics you guys would like me to discuss. Y'all, please go follow me on Instagram at talking underscore with. That's W for with underscore Ken J. And as always, thank y'all. We're talking with Kim. Like this, y'all didn't think that I could walk like this. Said I told y'all.